Hello and welcome back my friends. Are you looking for some cost-effective, affordable ways to start growing food or grow more food at home today? Well, I've got some good news for you. I've got a solution that's going to help you to do just that. Check it out. Now that spring has officially arrived and gardening season has kicked off here in the Northern Hemisphere, many businesses now have back in stock these smaller kiddie pools that make great grow beds. This particular pool is made by Funsicle. It's one of the more popular brands that's out on the market. And what's great about this pool is that it's rated HDPE2. That's high density polyethylene. The same food grade plastics that they use to make milk jugs, water jugs, that sort of thing. So a completely safe and effective gardening bed for a very low cost. These pools go for around $12 or less depending on your location and they hold up beautifully even when being exposed to full sun. Currently I have 12 of these pools set up. I've got a few that I still need to fill there in the back and these are water wicking beds. After having been out in full exposure to the sun throughout last summer, these pools are still in great condition, not brittle whatsoever. Looks like we could get at least another couple years out of them. Fabric grow beds like this 40 gallon bed here do a great job wicking up water. So if you place one in one of these plastic pools, then all you have to do is add water into the pool every few days or set it up on a timed irrigation system that'll fill a few inches of water in the pool every few days or so and it completely streamlines growing food at home. But even if you don't want to go with the water wicking setup, you can literally grow directly in the pool. All you're going to need to do is put a few drainage holes in the bottom. And one of the best ways to accomplish that is with a simple soldering iron. Now I know what you're thinking, Dan, that's great and all, but I really just don't like that blue color in my garden. It takes away from the natural appearance. Well, I get that. And for that, I came up with a solution. By simply wrapping the outside of the pool with a little bit of burlap, we've changed the entire appearance and brought back that natural look. And these fabric grow beds that I'm using with these pools are the absolute perfect size. As you can see, we've got just enough gap there for our water to fill up just a few inches. So let me show you how I installed the burlap. So all around the inside edge of the pool, what I did is using my soldering iron, I put a couple small holes through the plastic and the burlap, and then I used a natural color zip tie to attach everything together. So everywhere you see a little crease on the top, there's a zip tie holding it in place. I thought of all the different ways that I could possibly attach the burlap to the pool, including a hot glue gun, glue tape, what have you. And this is what I came up with. It's a more permanent style install and it's nice and secure. And this is the key right here. This is a higher quality premium burlap. It will not fray after you cut it. So it holds together nicely, looks beautiful. And this is a 14 inch by 75 yard roll or 150 feet. So with just one roll, I can literally wrap 14 pools at an average added cost of about $5.50. Now this is 100% all natural, made of jute. Now the more natural appearance isn't the only benefit here, but because we're actually covering up the plastic, we should be able to extend the life of the plastic tremendously, as the burlap here is helping to block out some of those sun rays to give added extension life to the pool. So now I'll share with you just how quick and easy you could put together one of these pool wraps. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go around the outside of the pool and measure how much of the burlap you're gonna need. If you're using the same exact pool, I'll tell you, it's 11 and a half feet. And the real key to making this look nice is getting a nice clean cut. And for that, I recommend a pair of medical shears. These are designed to cut through gauze, clothing, and other heavy fabric materials. So to get a nice clean cut, you wanna pull the fabric nice and taut. And then when you're cutting, you don't wanna do this, or you're gonna get jagged edges. So what you wanna do is just Now I was just barely doing this while I was pushing through. Any added strings that come out, clip that away. And there you have it, we got a nice clean cut. This will not continue to just unravel 
stays looking good. Now we're just gonna drape this fabric over the edge. And the reason I don't punch through the holes for the zip ties beforehand is because I wanna see where these folds wanna naturally lay. So just about like that. And here are the zip ties I'm using. They call this gold color. And if you look at the ridges on the inside of the pool, that's how you can gauge as you go around and make your holes where the fabric should lay on the inside. So it's not too high, not too low. Now this part's important. You wanna put the two holes where the fabric overlaps and get it through both pieces of fabric. So we'll just kind of press that down and go through both the burlap and the pool. Two holes. And now what you want to do is come from the outside. So you can see how it's lined up there. And we'll just take the zip tie, push it through the top. And then we'll just loop it back around and exit back out. And you can see underneath, we're just gonna take that, zip it nice and tight. And now using a pair of pliers, you can grab it right at the base, give it a twist. And that'll give you a nice flush surface for the most part, instead of a sharp jagged edge, like you get if you cut it. Now we pull it down and you see it lays just even there with the bottom. And when you're done, it'll look something like this. And another benefit to having a grow setup like this is the ergonomics. You can bring this garden bed up to your comfortable height to work at. Whether you put it atop a picnic table or you build yourself a pallet shelf, just the perfect height for you, this is gonna bring comfort back into your gardening game. And this could be especially helpful for those with mobility issues. If it's hard for you to bend down closer to the ground, well, bring your garden up to you. Maybe you're in a wheelchair, well, you could roll right up to something like this and work your bed as well. It really opens up the door to many different possibilities. And yes, my friends, I will be doing a garden wicking bed makeover. I'm gonna be wrapping all these beds and bringing that natural look back into the garden just the way it should be and hoping to further protect that plastic so that we can hopefully get many more years of service. So there you have it, my friends. Low cost, functional, and now beautiful in my opinion. I hope you got something out of today's video. If you did, do me a favor and smash that thumb button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. New uploads every week, sometimes every day. And I'm always sharing with you all the different projects that we got growing on around here. So with that, have yourself a great rest of the day. Until next time, this is Dan from plantabundance.com. Take care, I'll be talking to you again soon.